Hello guys, as you can see, February and March 2018 was very volatile and a lot of guys, uh, when, they, when they are trading, short term trading, um, they will have a lot of losses. The thing is, there are things that you should do in these uh, weeks or this month where there are a lot of trouble. Okay, so the first thing you can do is limit your trades. So wh what do you mean uh, by that? Limiting your trades, it means if in the month you do, for example, 10 trades, you should cut these 10 by half. You do only five. Okay, don't push yourself to trade where uh, the trends are very difficult to find and the market is very troubled. This is the one thing uh, which makes you uh, less exposed to the problems of the market. Now, when these two, two months the stock is volatile, it means that all the people, they are confused what to do. Some people, when they see a green candlestick, he buys. Another guy, when he sees, for example, a red candlestick, he sells short. And the people are, you know, there is a big fight right now in the market between buyers and sellers. Now, who makes the decision? I'm telling you always. Mutual funds, managers, they are the ones who make the decision. If they buy a lot, you will see that the stock comes very, very good. It goes up and the trend continues as 2017 and 2016. But if those um, mutual fund managers are buying more like bonds uh, or they are, bo uh, 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 they are buying more annuities, a lot of, a lot of stuff that it is not really stocks. So what will happen? Since they are selling, you will see that the correction continues to be uh, to be a big correction and not a small correction. Okay. So um, the the second thing I want to speak about is <clears throat> okay. The second thing I want to speak about is don't expose all your money to the market. So uh, what does this mean for you? Okay, I will make it always very simple for you. Let's say you have $10,000. Okay, let's say this $10,000, uh, you divide it into four positions, as I told you before. Uh, mini positions, it means the risk is less, is less in your account. Now you can do whatever, whatever positions. There are some gu guidelines that you should follow, and this in a training level eight. You can check uh, check this uh, training. You can order it, or you can go to golden subscription. It is for free. Okay. So then, ten thousand dollars you have. Try just this month or two months just to use 5,000. Okay? 5,000, what does it mean? You use 50% of your money and you leave the other 50, okay, safe. Until, until we see uh, something in the market that change. Okay? So here I'm speaking about the general market. I'm not speaking about stocks. I will come to, to this later because there are some other techniques you can do to find trends, okay? So, uh, making less, okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Number three, 
is trade smaller stocks now why I told you trade smaller stocks okay so the opposite is bigger stocks now why is that I will tell you the reason the bigger stocks are well known millions of trade day traders and uh, and the whole market are looking at them okay so they are always there is a big fight between buyers and sellers and you will see a green candlestick very very long then you see another one going down and it is it is always troubled now when you go to small when i say small stocks i don't mean I don't mean uh, 5 cents or 10 cents. No, I mean any stocks that it is small. 25, 15, 7, 5 or penny stocks. Because those, the buyers are different mostly from the big mutual fund that they move the market. There are small mutual funds. They have less money. So they are interested in those small, uh, in those small companies. Okay? And you will see that there are trends going on and most of the time the volume is not that much okay it's not is not that much and um, you can find them easily especially if you use my uh, training level 2 which is uh, how to search for stocks using stock screener each day you will find these stocks okay and they will show you uh, how they move and then you put them in the chart and you see uh, how um, how do they go okay now um, another thing that I, sh I should the number four I should uh, mention is um, use appropriate stop loss now see here is the big deal when the, the market is volatile okay appropriate stop loss if you give too much to the market it means you give too much when the stock is going down since the market is 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 uh, troubled it can go down so so down and you can lose a lot of money if you don't calculate it so to to do good in this what you should do is you should use appropriate calculations in each stock how much money you have in the stock how much uh, where is your stop loss and then you calculate uh, the number and you see the percentage okay so when you see the percentage, if you accept the percentage, it's okay. If you don't accept it, you should change it. Now, there are some people, they say, okay, uh, the market is volatile. I put stop loss. I exit. Uh, it's not good. Okay, I leave it. Okay. Here what will happen. What if the stock, you, you think that the stock can go 2% or 5%, and it goes 30 percent uh, you know people short the stock and it's going down they short it more and understand that uh, selling shorts especially in day trading some people when they find opportunity and the stock is moving down they continue they continue selling 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 until the end of the day and then they buy back and those people who are maybe having the stock for many days like swing trading they have the risk but in day trading uh, when they sell short a stock it's just the day and they are looking at the price if they are making money they will stay they will stay until the end of the day and then they exit okay so for you you leave your stock and you are doing a short-term trading which is a swing trading you think that the stock will go into a trend but but the, but the stock has not gone into trend and there are a lot of so, uh, sell, uh, short sellers and the stock is going down too much now if you don't put stop loss what is your problem the problem is that you that you face is at the end of the day 
You see that you lose that you lost a lot of money. You think that you lose five percent and then you find it twenty percent, fifteen percent, ten percent, thirty percent, fifty. It depends on the stock. Now, because you are weak and you don't put stop loss, what do you say? You say to yourself, I will not touch it, maybe tomorrow it will go up, so I will leave it. What if the next day you lose more 10% or 20%? This is, if you continue like this, uh, without uh, using, uh, you don't use a stop loss, believe it or not, you will go to a catastrophe at the end of the year. This is a normal thing. You can calculate it and you can see your trading in the past and you can see that sometimes you get, you, you get a hit uh, to your account and this will make your account becomes less and less and less, especially in these days. So try, just, okay, I buy a stock, I put my stop loss where I can't, I can't go more than this. I can't give to the market more than I risk. If you if you if you have no stop loss, you understand that you left your stock for one hundred percent loss. It means it's like when you do options or you do it's like an options when you buy an option contract, it's one hundred percent loss. If if it goes down, a gap down or something, you will lose it. Okay, so this is number four, and uh, let's say you go to number five. Number five, check the stock industry. Now, I know that a lot of people, they don't even see maybe the chart. They have just a stock friend, uh, a friend or in a Facebook group or in chat room or whatever. They say, oh, this stock is good. Let's buy it. Okay. And just you buy without looking at the chart, without looking uh, what is it or whatever. Now, why I say to you, you should look you should look at the industry where the stock is okay so let's give you an example from the chart at least at least you have an idea what i'm talking about uh, you know as as you might know uh, for me and for uh, my students and for all the people who watch my my youtube channel they always like my chart okay that i use it's just a free uh, chart so you don't pay nothing Okay, and it, it gives you a lot of things in this chart. That's why I like it. Okay, I always have a training, if a free training if you want to. Now, let's go to the chart and see what I am speaking about. Okay, so I will give you an example of uh, this index. This index... It is about the internet information pr providers. So, and the sector is internet. Okay? So this is here on the left side. M uh, MG is just morning star. Okay? Uh, morning group. It means it is just a company that, that makes these indexes. Now, as you can see, I will make you uh, the resistance line that we saw before. Okay, this is the resistance line before, as you can see, for this industry. And here is the support line that we, uh, that, uh, that we saw in, in this industry, which is uh, 2, uh, 9 of uh, February. This is the, the one that when we have the small correction in the whole market. Okay, this is the correction that we speak about before. When you go to my videos before, I speak about this. Now, uh, uh, this uh, index, which is called Internet Information Providers, it's going down, it stops at this support line. Let's see, it's red. It goes up, it touches, there is a line. It goes down and then it goes up and crosses. It was so good if it if it has continued, but the problem we have a gap down and then it goes down and it nearly touches uh, the support line of before, of this one. Now, I will give you right now an example 
and we see if the stock that belongs to this industry is it doing the same yes or no let's say take uh, here facebook see facebook now this is what facebook was doing it stops it goes up it doesn't reach the resistance line as the as the index it goes down it goes up and then we have a gap down and then it continues and then it hits the support line now why facebook hits hits the support line it goes down since it goes it goes down it lost a lot compared to the index okay because facebook uh, belongs to internet information provider which is the index and you can see the index okay it didn't touch the support line yet what does it mean it means that facebook is doing worse than the index okay so we will never know where it goes down or if it can uh, come uh, up or reverse but right now it's going down and you see each day it loses a lot we have this gap down and now it's 152.52 uh, 0.22 cents it was 195 you see it's a lot of money from 195 it goes in two months it goes to 152 it lost a lot understand that for me i am not looking for news or why facebook has gone down or because this will never help you because it's going down it's going down so either you know the news or you don't know there is no other thing now let's check if there are if the others are doing the same i don't know if they are like a... yes okay two nine this is the uh, see i will just uh, explain nine february uh, friday is the lowest for the d uh, for the uh, dow jones index and for this stock this is here it goes uh until it touches or go it crosses the resistance line and it goes down but understand that uh, this stock this is stock uh, baidu or b-i-d-u it resists going down this is the support line okay just an example to show you this is the resistance line we are uh, the support line we are talking about but you see baidu has not gone to that to that support line what does it mean it means that baidu is better than facebook in this industry uh, let's say this one okay now you see this iac is going to into into a trend okay and it is better than any other stocks in this industry okay so this is worse okay let's see sfly this sfly which is 82 dollars it has nothing to do with the market and i told you before that you can find opportunities in the whole market even if the market is bad so when you see sfly you imagine you think that this stock has nothing to do with the dow jones for example okay let's give the dow jones what does it do okay okay you see the dow jones uh it stops going up on the 26th of january from 26th january it goes down it has never continued to go up but if you see this stock a uh, shutterfly which is so good if we take this uh, nine uh nine what is it nine march uh nine uh, february it goes down just a little bit but it continues going up okay so these things that you should always 
be aware of when you want to buy a stock or when you want uh, to go along with it there are a lot of things that you can see that can help you but for me as as i told you i don't believe in the news okay you say oh because of facebook oh the news okay if you if you are following the news and it is good for you okay you could you could uh, you could make money uh, all the people make the money we see the news it's good news okay we buy long uh, bad news we short and we make money this is not the real world this is not the real world the real world is so different it depends who buys and who sells sometimes i showed you the stock is going up so good even the the, the small correction that happened in the whole market okay it happens so little in this stock okay so try just to take this uh, five uh, recommendations or ways to protect uh, your account in this troubled thing but don't be scared don't be scared as i showed you right now here is a stock he's still going up if you if you have bought this stock uh, one month or two months you will be making money although all the people are crying are crying because the market is not giving them whatever and they lose a lot of money so here always when i'm speaking here i'm speaking about short-term trading i am not speaking about uh, for example investing or day trading because each one has its own uh, criteria okay so thank you very much um please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and if you have questions as usual comment on my uh, video section here on the bottom or you can send me an email and you find it in the description with my website try to try to remember that training level one is always free try just to take it go to my website and take it at least you begin to understand how i trade thank you very much